All right, let's play game number three. Let's let's win a couple of games. Oh, that's no good. One land, I mean one power. That's not great, but at least we have the mind link in our hand, right? But uh, we have no interaction at all. So if my opponent plays a fast aggressive deck, we are completely toast. Um, I don't think anything in my deck needs more than two times, so this is fine. A unit. Okay, well now we have a turn three play, turn four play, turn five play, turn six play. So whether we draw power or not power, I think we'll be okay. Mm, I don't think this is worth. I don't think this is worth mind unstable forming, but we'll play Titan next turn, and then on the following turn, play Obelisk and then stable form. Then again, do we really want to let him draw two cards? Presumably, he'll play a Titan next turn. Mm, I changed my mind. I'm going to play the second Mind Link and uh, Unstable Form the 4 1 because I don't want him to draw two cards. Or do I just go ahead and do the Dawn Walker? I'm not sure. Let's. You know what? I feel like this deck is pretty grindy. Let's let him draw cards. And just get rid of the damage, so that we don't take a billion damage next turn. Oh, all right. Wait, I have two mind links in play. Oh, I do. I don't even recall casting, drawing. Okay, this is a lot of gas. <laughs> Four fours are great. All right then, let's put a titan in play. And let's not let him draw cards now. <laughs> We're gonna have four copies of this. Wow. That is crazy. My opponent gets one, two, one, and I get four, two, ones. Wow, that's, that's quite something. Now I need lots of power. Okay, I think this is a better play than the rest. Um. Because this puts two threats on the table, whereas every other play puts one. Let's just go ahead and make a Deadly Scorpion. Um, if he has a burn spell, then I'm taking a lot of damage. Uh, hopefully he doesn't have a burn spell. Okay, Titan is fine. It. Oh, he should have... Oh, he should definitely have attacked first. That was a big punt on my opponent's part. That was a mistake. Okay, now what? I guess we'll play the 4-4, four, because four, the 4-4 four, four blocks his 4-4 four, four quite well. Now, we have tons of gas, as long as we don't die. Oh no! No! A scorpion! I need that scorpion. That's not good. Uh, he should attack with both units, because I'm forced to chump here, trade here. Alright, now we go... Two cards. I think I should have played the scouting party. That gives me four blockers. Oh no, I'm dead. Oh no. Wow, this deck is really slow. I'm almost always behind. Oh yeah, this has over... Yeah, 100% dead. Okay. Yeah, this, this deck seems really slow. It feels like there's almost zero interaction in the first three turns. Um, I definitely, definitely think you get rid of stuff like this and you just put in some permafrost and early game interaction spells. This deck is also really slow that I feel like you should play with Initiates of the Sands to give yourself an extra turn uh, of, uh, of ramp. Okay, so we're over three with this deck. Um, and I mean, that's not too surprising because this is not a tier one competitive deck and we are just piloting it for the first time. Um, if I missed any clever interactions uh, during gameplay, let me know in the comments below. Oh, Vashina Wizard. That's a magic card. <laughs> um, yep, redraw. 
Yeah, there's there's no early game plays or interactions in this deck, and I think that's the biggest problem. Um, I would definitely start tweaking the deck by lowering the curve, because we're 100% dead. I mean, there's no way we can play a do nothing on turn three, and then like that on turn four, and expect to live against Stone Scar. So it looks like this will be a very fast game. If we somehow survive to turn 5 though, the Crystallize will be quite good. <laughs> if is a keyword. See, this is when uh, Permafrost becomes really, really important. You know, this deck could totally use uh, Lightning Storm. I mean, I know the deck itself plays a lot of 1-1s and stuff, but it, I feel like in, in most of the games we've played so far, a Lightning Storm could have been useful. Well, maybe not last game. Last game my opponent just had large units. But the other games, I think it would have been good. Holy crap. Like a lightning storm here would win me the game. <laughs> All right. All right, we're 0-3 in this deck. Um, we'll play a few more games and then I will do a bunch more testing off camera. And then I will um, record the tweaked version of this deck and gameplay together. And I think I'll upload this at once. So maybe this video will get uploaded sometime next week. I don't know, maybe I'll upload this first part first and then and then tweak it over the next few days, but we'll see. Alright, we're 0-3. Let's try and win at least one game. <laughs> hmm. In order for this hand to be good, we need to draw at least two power, and they have to be very specific. No, let's just redraw this because I need two Primal to play um, the Mind Link and then two time to play the Sandstorm Titan. So at least this hand is somewhat interactive. Um, I guess I really don't want to play the Unstable Forms until I also... Oh, there you go. Well then, that's actually a pretty crazy hand. because If I can play this on turn three, I basically get to make four units. I mean, two of them are frogs, but I get to make two other random units. So we'll see how that goes. Oh yeah, I bought this premium um, avatar. I think this is the coolest looking, um, what is this thing called? Uh, rider, the coolest looking rider. I, I definitely want to, do I echo inform it or do I just polymorph it? Let's just see what I, get with the echoing uh, unstable form. That's fine. <laughs> Maybe I should have polymorphed it? Mm, I don't know. I'm taking damage for no reason this turn, but yeah, okay. <laughs> we'll go to 20. Yeah, like that last turn, maybe I should have just polymorphed it? I actually don't know. I don't know the correct order of play. And this deck is so different than anything I've ever played. I, I'm not actually really sure how to evaluate these cards and how to prioritize them. Um, so if I can spark it, I can draw a snowball. <laughs> uh, should I attack? No, I don't think I attack. I think, I think I just polymorph this thing. Hey, where's my frog? Oh, there it is. Okay, sweet. Okay, I think that's good enough. <laughs> I guess one thing about unstable form is if you uh, turn, if you make a unit that has a summoning ability, then your opponent doesn't get the summoning effect. Okay. Um, trade, trade, take three, sure. Take four, take four. All right. Mm, yeah, I don't know what to do. Um, Because if I play Polymorph on this Diogo, I can't play any other card. I would like to be able to play the Cyclops. I can turn it into a 5-drop and then play that 5-drop. No, let's see what it turns into. Let's see if it's a good 5-drop. 
Hey, that is very good. <laughs> All right, let's do that. Sweet. All that value. Um, that's. There is definitely some something exciting about gambling, right? Because basically every time you play an unstable form, you're basically gambling. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty funny. Oh, nice. That is a good deal. Let's let's do that. Let's draw some cards. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Um, so I can play Sandstorm Tined and I basically lose to an Obliterate. Or I can just polymorph this and play the other Temple Scribe. I think this is the safest. So let's just go ahead and polymorph this. Get myself a frog. And now I can block all three of his units. And which I will block all three of his units and just chump the 3-3. Three, three. That's, that's no problem. Wait, no, we'll just do this. No, then I get blown up by a single torch. This is fine. A 3-3 will be relevant once I start playing Sandstorm Titans. Okay. Well, can't play it anyway. Um, I have access to seven power. Uh, if I play this, then I have five. I can play this plus Crystallize, which is no good. Um, I could play Sandstorm Titan and the Acolyte, or the Sandstorm Titan and the Jock. Um, I think Acolyte into Sandstorm Titan is my best play. Um, and if he has a way to remove my Sandstorm Titan, then I'm in a lot of trouble. Like if he has an Obliterate. Whoa. All right. Very problematic. Um, I think I'm dead, right? Oh, if I had the Shimmer Pack in my hand, I wouldn't have blocked with all my Temple Scribes. Okay, let's just play these two units and hope to survive one more turn. Um, I think I'll throw the Titan in front of his Titan and take six, go to five, and die to Obliterate. Because if he has an Obliterate, he would have just did it to my Titan and win this turn anyway. I feel like this way... Um, yeah, that's fine. He could torch down my Titan afterwards, but I can't not block. Oh, that's bad. Okay, well, that's no good. Uh, can I rain a frogs him and get some free units? I've never played Shimmer Pack before. I have no idea what happens if I transform these into uh, Shimmer Packs and then through with Mind Link, I draw them. But what's the casting cost? I don't know any of these things. Let's just play it. Oh, <laughs> the eight to play. I can't cast them. <laughs> oh, I'm so dead. All right. This is the first time I've played a lot of these cards um, and it's pretty exciting. So now we're 0 and 4. We'll do one final game and hope to hope to get a win out of it and, and then end the video there. Okay, this hand seems decent. Um, we'll get a time. Whew, we're 0 and 4. That does not feel good. Uh, yeah, let's draw a card. Hey, Obelisk is quite good with these otherwise useless units, like this and this. Okay, Instigator is good, but not too big of a problem. Um, okay, so on the following turn, I think I'll play the Disciple, putting into play a 1-1 Scorpion. Yep, and then on the following turn, the following two turns, I'll just be Zenning Obelisk getting up. Zenin obelisking it up. That's even a word. Oh no, I just tagged into it. I and didn't I? Oh no, he doesn't have the uh, influence requirements. 
to play iron. Mm, we'll play a 3 3 overwhelm crawler. It blocks that just the same as the 1 1, but with the obelisk, this could be a 5 5. So it'll do more damage on the attack. Perfect. Um, I'm going to hold up Backlash because I think he has removal spells. Um, and I'm not in a super huge rush to attack him with my units. Yep. So he's. Yeah. He's not going to block, but I'm not going to attack because I don't really want to take damage from him either. No, he's not going to block. Let's just attack him. He's likely not going to attack me either. This is why we have Backlash. Take three, buddy. Take three. All right. The first time where we have a board and our opponent doesn't have a board. No, we lose some units right before it can become big. Okay, so now he has double black. Um, we'll play this, and we'll play this. And now we can start smashing him. Now we don't care if he has an iron in his hand. So we'll just kill the iron if he blocks with it. I should have attacked with a 3-3 as well, actually. I made a mistake. Okay, he's going to banish the obelisk for sure. Banish is quite good. Oh no, that's too big. I don't have anything that can get rid of it. Uh, not good, not good. Alright, let's hope he doesn't attack us. Because next turn, um, I'll have a power in play to activate the obelisk. And then he... Oh no. Yeah, whatever, we'll take 7. <laughs> The scary thing here is if I like block with all my units. Um, oh, this is gonna be great. Oh yes. So it turns out this deck works better without the mine link. <laughs> so he's dead here. Um, I think. Okay, he can kill another- wait, can he? Oh no, he kills the um, obelisk, I see. Uh, he's still dead though. <laughs> nice. Alright, we won a game, and it's the only game where we didn't draw the Mind Link half of the deck. We just drew the Elysian mid-range Shimmer Pack half of the deck, and then it's the only game that we won. I think that speaks volumes about the Mind Link combo. So far, I feel like the Mind Link is pretty bad. But I think let's end the video. No, we just won a game, right? So let's, let's, let's just play one more. We'll play into our next loss. How about that? Yeah, the problem I felt over the last five games with Mind Link is that, first of all, you play it and it does nothing. And even after you play it and you play cards like Unstable Form and Polymorph, the benefit you gain from the Mind Link is very minor. Um, and also very slow, because if you play unstable form onto their units that they play on turn three or four, it's all of a sudden a four or five drop, and it takes you a whole turn to play it. So if you have already fallen behind on board, you can't catch up with the unstable form. Um, I think that's actually a really big tempo problem with the deck. Uh, I need to think about how to fix this tempo issue. This is not a good hand, uh, but if we draw another wisdom then we can draw on some a couple of cards sorry if i get another primal sigil then we can draw a couple of cards but as it is this hand is quite poor oh it's a three color deck so it's a control deck of some kind now we are screwed so let's hope that our opponent's deck is very slow and it gives us the opportunity to draw ourselves out of this mess Okay, a six drop, just what I wanted. Opponent's not doing anything either. Um, these colors are typically control colors. Oh, an eight drop, what a fantastic draw. Do the two most expensive cards in my deck. I need to discard on the following turn. We're definitely gonna counter this. Great, now we don't have to discard next turn. 
Shimmer Pack was pretty powerful. It turned my entire board of pretty useless units into lethal in one turn. I have a feeling I want to up the count of Shimmer Pack. And probably get rid of Wisdom of the Elders. Alright. Oh no, we have to discard. I guess we're discarding the Shimmer Pack. <laughs> we're never getting to it. The uh, mathematical probability of playing uh, this many turns, basically my opponent's taking six turns, so the probability of uh, playing six turns without drawing a power um, is really, really, really low. Um, like astrono astronomically low. Um, oh, I should have discarded the Crystallize. That's not very useful against Armory. This is blue Armory here. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find the mathematical calculation on the odds of not drawing a land for that long. Okay, we're at one, <laughs> and here's the torch. Suck it, <laughs> eat it. <laughs> we're 100% dead this game, I don't know why I did that. We should have just conceded, but um, there's nothing that will allow me to come back from this game. Oh yeah. Definitely not with a 4-drop. Alright, so we're 1 and 5, right? Um, but that last game doesn't quite count. It's not the deck's fault. It's the Power Scroot's fault. Let's take a look at this sweet new function um, on the match history. So we've drawn no power for... Oh, the next card's a power. What do you know? And then... Kind of like a power, and then a power, and then a power, and then a power. Next one, two, three, four, five are essentially five power sources. But, um, take a look at this. So, the probability of starting with two power and then spending seven turns without power is almost zero percent i mean this this is rounded right nothing is 100 percent here this is like 99.9999999 percent or something like that so the odds of me not getting another power in seven turns is astronomically low but what's ironic is that when we play we know for personal experience that we get a lot of games where we start with two power and never draw another power until we lose the game. Um, so that's why I think there's something wrong with the random number generator from, um, from this game. Um, because these things should happen like once a month, whereas it happens like once every other day or every day even if you play a lot of games. So it's a little weird. Um, but uh, let's end the games there. I'm going to do the rest of the testing on my own. Uh, and then I will come back with another video when I have an update uh, and some tweaks to the deck. Uh, thanks for watching, guys.